Okay, today we're going to be uh, replacing some lights on this hot tub. And as you can see, they got a pile here. And what these are is just the light lenses. They actually just go over top of the light. There's a gasket to keep the tub from leaking. And what happens is sometimes these things just get uh, tightened a little too tight from the factory or swimwear or whatnot get caught on them or the o-rings just actually fail due to the harsh environment of the chemicals in the hot water but uh as you can see right here this is where ones came off and that's it um all the lights behind these are still working properly besides this one and this one is staying red and that's an indication that water's actually got into that light and now it's failing so we're going to go ahead and take this panel off and i'll show you how to dig back in there and replace these light lenses. Got our panel off as you can see these hot tubs are completely foamed in to the actual outside panel so there's no easy way in we're gonna have to cut our way in and find out exactly where that lights at so what I like to do is I'll find the actual light come over come down to about the depth of it so we know our lights right in this area and we're gonna cut a decent size hole into our foam here. Not going too deep because sometimes there's wires and hoses back just beyond the, uh, the foam itself. So that's kind of it, we'll come down. And I just like doing square trap doors. So that way, once we dig out all the foam behind there we can put it back in and actually this trap door will just sit in there nice and tight so we won't have to replace the foam unless it's soaking wet and everything then you might want to spray some in there that's what i'll do is i'll cut that trap door and then we want to go as deep as we can Run your fingers in as deep as you can. You should be able to bust that out. And that's it, there's a hose in here. It's always something. So now we got ourselves a little access panel door. And that's it, when we're done, we can just fit that right back in. It'll hold everything in. So that's it, we've got already got tubes right here so i'm gonna go grab a plastic sack so that way whatever we dig out we can put in that plastic bag and cram it back in there all right so i got myself a little plastic bag and that's it we're just gonna feel around in there we got another pipe right there that, but, so as you can see we found our light water's leaking out right now so we'll grab our new light lens and our new washer. We can actually just feed that through the hole and the weight of the water is gonna press that up against it and it should stop the water flow. So as you can see, I just pushed that into the hole and it's minimized our water flow right there. So hopefully you can see up in there, you can see where our light is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean out all around that so we can get a new net on there nice and tight. So we'll just scrape some of that foam off the shell with the screwdriver. And that's it. 
this is supposedly the lights that's out so we'll turn the lights on and test this one get her out of this foam here this lock nut sucks it tight to the tub to prevent it from leaking and then you have an actual light that slips inside of there and then screws in there and you have a rubber boot that goes over the top of that so that's all there is to those lights and that's it if this one's the one that's solid red and we need to replace the light i'll show you how to do that too but for now we're gonna clean up around that we're gonna take our screwdriver and just clean up around that light as best as we can so we can get a new block washer on there like so and as you can see it's nice and clear so with our new lock nut we can go ahead and just push against the light lens on the tub side and we can just thread that lock nut down and go nice and hand tight because that rubber washer is gonna pretty much prevent it from leaking and then since those are kind of deep uh, a set of these uh, long handled needle nose work great to give it that last quarter turn to make sure it's gonna be tight and snug so that's it we'll take our long handled needle nose pliers and we'll just give it a another quarter turn to make sure she's good and tight and that's it we can check around it now and we got zero leaks um, a lot of the time uh, I like to also just take some 100% silicone and I'll silicone around the outside of that just in case if that lens ever breaks again At least it's not flowing out like it was when we took that light out. It'll reduce it down to a small drip In order to test our lights We're gonna come over to the control panel. And we're actually gonna turn our lights on so as you can see All the lights have like a bluish purple color to them but the one we're working on right there has definitely seen some water and this red color that never changes is a sign that that thing's got water in it and needs to be replaced. So I'll go ahead and show you how to replace those two and all these parts you can usually find down at your local hot tub dealership or wherever you bought your spa. Um, if not, you can go online and it's pretty much just finding the one that looks like the one you have. So, especially with those lenses, um, that's kind of it, just match up the pictures. But uh, while we work on this, we're definitely gonna turn the lights back off so we don't have any power to it. When replacing these lights, we wanna get as much cord out as we can. And that's kind of it. So you're gonna need some You're definitely gonna need some wire strippers that'll handle down to like 24 gauge wire because once we get in here, these wires are like the same size as like a phone wire or whatnot. And that's kind of it. To crimp these wires together and make it simple, I do, I get the telephone butt um, connections, which are really nice. You can actually just slide the two wires that you're splicing together in them and then just crush them down and they're set. There's no, you don't have to strip anything. They work great. So let's go ahead. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this old light off since we're putting a new one on. And we're gonna give ourselves some, some cord to work with. And I said, I don't wanna go too deep and cut one of these little wires. I like to just break the surface, kind of work it around, and then here we go. We got our four wires. 
when you buy it it comes with the full cord setup that plugs into your actual hot tub pack and then you have the lights that run around the tub so you usually have to buy the whole cord and then basically we'll take and snip off one for each one we have to replace so if you buy one of these you have plenty of lights to be able to replace all the lights in your tub so that's kind of it we'll get ourselves a new one we'll give ourselves plenty of room to work with strip ourselves off some wire like i said i like to work this cord around so i don't have to strip the whole thing there we go there's our four wires that's all we're going to do and if you go down to your local hardware store and get these telephone butt connections it is a lifesaver and that's all you have to do is basically take the colors put white in one side white in the other side just make sure they go all the way in and with both those wires in that butt connector all we have to do is pop that little tab down and that does the rest so basically that's connected both those two white wires together with just the press of that tab so much easier than stripping each one of those wires <laughs> And trying to connect them so there we go a little tug all right With all of our wires connected go ahead and turn our light on see if she's blue we've got a nice bluish purple color on our light So now that our light's the right color, we're gonna feed that light into the end of that light lens. And we're just gonna slide that rubber boot over top of it. And that's gonna hold her in. Like so. Now we'll tuck this in. And we'll take We'll take some of that foam that we tore out. Just kind of tuck her back in there. That's it, we didn't have to take much out. And then once we get our foam back in that we took out on this light, we'll take our little trap door we cut, figure out which way we cut, took it out, and we'll just shove it right back into where it was. And that keeps us nice and protected thermally wise. So there we go, we'll move on to the next light. 